everyone, I'm Angel Wu. Welcome to Taiwan is my home. Before food, gutter oil, fake soybean pudding, even mutton, fake too. Good that still some shops insist their goodness don't cut off anything. And our couple today, besides conscience, because of religion, they really do obey the halal restrictions for themselves and other Islamic brothers and sisters, so from ingredient and processing, even flavoring should be done neatly. But because they really care details, so the food they make really have good taste. This day starts from early breakfast. Eating flat bread, all kinds of breakfast in the restaurant had to be prepared in early morning. But this bread is not called bread, mo, and burnt mo means crispy skin, rich in texture inside. Actually, for our breakfast, needn't to fill in anything. The braised veggie we fried, because weather is cold. Normally, we would braise some salty veggies and braised pickles. Would fry those dishes, stir it till spicy, then have it with a mo or say have meat for the filling. Having northern accent, Li, who had fine chiseled features with white skin, is Hui tribe from Ningxia. Muslims don't eat pork. Main food only had mo or mutton. This part of mutton is really well done. Hand cut is actually about having the original flavor. It does not add any Chinese medicine. Cook till soft. It would melt in the mouth. Do you see the ribs? It's one by one. Then can take bones out. Then can cut it into slices. Classic Hui gourmet mutton dish is what she's good at. But the skill she said is nothing. Is actually quite something. Mainly because Hui people request no blood left. Mutton should be poached completely, putting in many kinds of ingredients, soaked sauce for half day through procedures of soak, boil, simmer, and steam. Then it's finished. We have it at local before, so the streets could all the some small shops. If you go, they all use one basket, steamed. Today I say which part I need, leg meat, or say I need mutton back. You can have any part, and half kilo or a quarter. Then use hands to have it. When Li is interviewed, Taiwan Tuspen beside silently hear her words. He said his wife is the heroine, though he's called boss. He is just a supporting role. But we discovered he really do have something. To take on the role of hero too, his skills to cook Hui cuisine doesn't lose any locals. The pot he is cooking is called saozhi. It's the side dish for people in Ningxia to have with rice. It's also the first Ningxia cuisine he learned for Li. Fearing Li couldn't accept food for Taiwan, he especially stayed there for three years to learn cooking skills from Li's mother. Actually, that time I never imagined, because I don't come here. I don't know the food culture here. So he considered a lot. He already thought of the difficulties I meet about diet. These he didn't tell me. Maybe he thought about myself. So he learned here. Actually, I'm not really good at such great skills. So my mom really cook well, but. Li's mom, good at cooking, don't say cook. She actually opposed towards the two's marriage between Hui and Han is a big thing in there. They don't marry each other. Now many do. The first thing is you have to be in the religion. I think I really can't believe in that. Through that, they. Family post to, but come here and then to see me quite nice. It's not that easy because married so far, family can't be assured. But if you don't let us go in this, so the middle way to solution is we didn't arrange wedding ceremony. Seeing a fellow in Taiwan respect and accept her religion, understand Muslim rules. These parents are assured then. 
After coming to Taiwan, the two managed Hui Cuisine restaurant. His husband's considerations too. Mainly things, easy to eat things. Then he likes to cook too. In Taiwan, there's nearly no Ningxia dishes. Then my husband said, we can bring Ningxia cuisine to Taiwan for Taiwanese. Besides bringing local taste, Li arranged here like hometown that Taiwanese friends can feel like Ningxia. But is it because of that it made customers feel unfamiliar and not daring to step in? At first their business was terrible, the two can't afford to hire other people, can only do it from morning to night. Besides physical tiredness, what Lee felt unbearable is to sacrifice time with stay with kids. Our daughter is just four months, completely taken care by grandma, can only see once a week. It made me feel at last the kids when it's about eight months when brought back in the weekends she don't want to be with me i'd cry for this i'd cry actually me and my husband for many times want to shut down this shop because muslims are really too little but there are still many old customers keep encouraging at the back, saying, you must go through it. After endured all this, these are yours. Taiwanese are passionate. When you need help the most, everyone would take their friendly hands out. So I believe there is love. There is love in the world. So Taiwanese passion made Lee decide to try again. A restaurant that don't earn money is hard up. The couple still go by the best ingredients. Hearing with us the best barbecues, not carrying costs, order immediately. More than 20 kgs. This come out 3 kg already. About this, this is the banquet dish in our shop yes normally we don't have this because this thing things the source is not stable i used many time to find this and this one is cold fresh meat imported from australia meat saved fresh in zero degrees so this is very expensive High cost but make reputations too. More and more customers come want to try local Hui cuisine. Roasted mutton without order become the billboard of the shop. To take off order from mutton completely, Li learned many from her mom. Before coming to Taiwan, she remade many kinds of experiment. So in the past, used a whole warm lamp in the Ningxia. In Taiwan is a boss that composed of different lamps. Different species, so the mutton when came, it's different parts, parts by parts. Imagine how many lambs are there. Different bodies of each lamb, so the order of each is different too. So you when you meet the stubborn kind, strong smell that you can take off, then you might take a standard, use a mediate way. That time just staying here to experiment this, how to make this, cost me quite a lot of time. After the basic skills to take off orders, it takes time to cook deliciousness. The barbecue should be braised in two days. Using herbs to steam roast, crispy skin, juicy mutton is out of oven, making people was watered. Good skills bring more and more customers but bring hard tasks too. Meat that meets halal restrictions in Taiwan is not that much, so many customers groan why can't they have dishes they like. Ingredient is really a big difficulty. Because the halal meat we use is halal, so often will be out of stock. So our dishes change often. And our meat is like, hey, this part is good. Customers think this is delicious too, but after a period of time it's out of stock. It's not that I don't want to make it. It's because there's no stock, the factory can't blend for this small part. 
Then make small precept, make business and let customers happy, can't we? Lee never thought of that. Not only meat, every flavoring she insists, things must be sent back to Muslim Association. Approved then can use, not just meat, like soy sauce and stuff. Because Muslims can't have wine, prohibitions to wine and alcohol, this is really very severe. So even this flavoring, some will mix some alcohol, so it's severe towards this. So this must go through association of halal, these flavorings they approved, then we can use. Because wishing Muslims coming from anywhere can be assured in her restaurant, don't have to be fear, will offend the discipline under Lee's hard work now the restaurant have been approved by a Muslim association. When foreign Muslims come to Taiwan, they don't have a chance to taste Taiwanese gourmet. So if Taiwan can develop in this way, it's not bad. Because introducing a country not only just use or some other high technique things, but through Gourmet 2 can introduce Taiwan to the whole world. Iran and Taiwan become loyal customers. The shop is nearly full at lunchtime. This is the best approval to Lee couple. At first just managing food problems in Taiwan, never imagined in this land not only she made many new friends but let homeland taste fragrance in Taiwan. Islamic culture to Taiwan is quite familiar, like Malaysia and Indonesia recently is opening business opportunities of Islamic traveling. It's big market. To boost sightseeing, advice of that teacher of Iran is referable. And the next new resident couple also will bring us to know different culture. From Gourmet, we'll be back soon. Welcome back to Taiwan is my home. Everyone knows about Bollywood, right? Colorful and bustling dances, good mood just by seeing. If you want to join, there's a place for everyone to experience. And what we're talking about is in a dance studio, is an Indian restaurant. rhythm and dance that others beside can't help but tap the rhythm and groove. But this is not a dance studio, but an Indian restaurant that hides in the streets of Taipei. The drummer is the owner from India, Andy Aya. <laughs> is it fun? It is! Next time we make a big Bollywood party. There's at least five once a year. Why do you like to dance Indian dance in the shop? It's all famous songs in Bollywood. Bollywood is in Bombay, is a nickname of Indian movie industry. Many dance scenes is the feature of Indian movies because Indian loves to dance and sing. To make Taiwanese friends know more about cultures in Indian home, Andy always celebrate on special occasions of India like the Great Night of Shiva. Diwali in October celebrate in activities the shop. So in your shop this way is to make others understand more or say, I want to understand more about my customers. Eat Indian cuisines was the feature of India, what's culture and house music very happy. What you all see is happy. Coming for more than 15 years at first because Andy likes Chinese culture, first come to Taiwan for learning Chinese because of homesickness. He started to sell Indian rolls in Shilin Night Market and met Taiwanese wife Nina who loves to eat his rolls. I ate the rolls that he sold in the market. At that time Indian dishes like home dishes is not much. I didn't know he can cook so well. So you had his food in the stall. Yes, it's very delicious. You think it's very delicious, then you'd encourage him. 
Yes, because he's quite afraid. I'm not. The good taste of the role induced cross-cultural fate and Nina's confidence to Andy. After falling in love for two years, Nina married Andy and encouraged him changing the stall into restaurant. Though the couple had no culinary experiences, Andy knows how should his restaurant be like. This is the south part. When men got married, wore this. This is very characteristic, and this one is like spices, but the spices are different with spices from the south. This is the queen in India, the Taj Mahal kind. Then every restaurant we have in this in every restaurant lighting. If light can reflect the whole restaurant, it's good feng shui. There is feng shui in India too, care feng shui. So the environment in the restaurant don't just show Indian flavor. There's meaning. Mirrors, bright light reflecting all things. Bird of paradise symbols happiness and peace. Indian god in the shop bless the health and peace of the shop. Andy blended beats of Indian culture to the restaurant. Hope guests who come to eat can know his home India through hearing, seeing, and eating. <laughs> To know India can exclude spices. Blend himself. Spices needed a day is Andy's important ritual every day. Spices are good, healthy. This is my home recipe a hundred years ago, and the secret of my home. Even chef don't know too, so I can blend for them. They just mix. This mixing action, spices are much more delicious. Later would roast. It's much more fragrant. Yes. Talking about fragrance, the aroma of Indian cuisine is not from the chemistry ingredient, just the taste. Andy used verum metan fennel, seventeen kinds of natural spice, then different kinds of ingredient, combination of different things. There's Andy's home recipe. And his understanding from many years cooking experience. So though the same name of the dish is different with other places, Andy said, "Spices are not just for deliciousness, but for maintaining health." Indian started early. Clove. It's good to our kidney. This is. Coriander seed, good to heart, and this one for our mouth. It'll be fragrant. Indian spice milk tea cooks with spice too. Yes, cooks with spice too. I come to Taiwan fourteen years. Fourteen years. In this period, sometimes only when I have flu, because when I see raining outside, I didn't bring umbrella, so just go. But rain in Taiwan and rain in India is a bit different. It will catch a flu in here, but not in India. The rain here is different. Good that the tea from hometown works in Taiwan too. Don't eat medicine for flu. Put some ginger in the hot water. Then use a bit pepper. Then some salt. And then lemon. Drink. Okay, no problem. Flu recovered. Appetite calms. Now can have Andy spiced chicken. First, fry cumin, garlic, slices of ginger and onion. Then add in clove, mace, and anise. They can all take out chills. Twelve kinds of spice powder. Then fry with tomatoes and spices. Simmer chicken in water for five minutes. Flavor it with lemon and yogurt. At last, a 100% delicious, gorgeous Indian spice chicken is done. Add crisply fragrant. Baked Indian naan. Then bake it with the back of the pot. The textured naan. Now we can have the whole Indian set. I tell you, I really like this. I really like this chicken curry. Really delicious. It's not spicy, but there's spice feeling from India. Love it. 
Oh, you forgot to say this. Baked naan, crispy outside and soft inside. It's really super delicious. Many customers say great, but Andy said his dishes could be even better. Much more delicious to use hands. The chopsticks or the spoon. That's not real eating. To feel good dishes. Then these three fingers would know which is the best temperature ones could be eaten. Can't touch with palm, no. Use right hand's finger, pinching food into small portions. Andy explained, Indian believes eating is holy. Only in the process of eating, touch food with bare hands to feel the temperature, then one can feel the real taste of the food. At first, see him like this. Are you not used to it? So, so. Seen some TV or some introductions, yes. After seeing long, I'd know how to eat, just not used. Knowing meanings of different culture, not only culture of myself is civilized. The couple work together. Having three shops now, though busy, Andy still uses vacancy to become teachers in Stuking Studio, teaching more Taiwanese friends to know about Indian cuisine. He plans to go franchising, not only for making money, but hoping can have more Indian culture and food in Taiwan. To tell more about my culture, some people in Kaohsiung, Tainan, and Chai don't know what is Indian culture. What is Indian cuisine? If I have the chance, but if there is uh, the aim, we can spread it. There's a saying in the internet, Indians love to load cheater, describes the over-spirited and effectiveness of Indians. We see and you have new aim to spur to. But to him who longed to promote homeland culture, he learned many things after living so many years here. Something very important is to slow down his pace besides work, must I know how to enjoy life. The couple both like to go for a drive, let Andy drive. It's right driving in India, so my other drive often come at first by small ones to let him practice, then keep going to get a driver's license. He said five times. First time is 60, second time is 75. Improved. Third time, 55. Come back again. But the next place we go, let us surprise. Andy, who believe in Hindu, went to pray in temple with his wife. When my mother is in Taiwan, I often come. My mom go back to India. I go to the place with my mom. Like, I don't know the God here, what God is there, but it's all goodness. So to believe goodness is important. Not sure which God, but believing goodness is important. Lighting three cents, wishing religiously, born in different places, the couple who believe in different religions use the same heart with goodness, insist to make healthy dishes. In the land of Taiwan they meet through food, married for love, their minds overcame barriers of races, let their India life and Taiwan blend perfectly together. Our two couple, no matter from Ningxia or India, we see their hard-workingness. They showed respect to themselves and culture and respect to customers. Thank you for watching program today. See you next time.